In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can integrate cosecant square right, using substitution. Okay, so let's rearrange cosecant square to uh, 1 divided by sine square. Right? So we know uh, from the triple identities that cosecant square is the same as 1 over sine square. Okay, so I have to do a little bit of manipulation here. Okay, so I'm going to divide the numerator and denominator by cosine square. Okay, so we're going to have 1 over cosine square x over sine square x divided by cosine square x will be tangent square x. Okay, so at the top, right, 1 over cosine square is secant square. Okay, so what is next is, right, I'm going to apply the substitution, right, I'm going to let u be tangent x, okay. So I let u be tangent x because I could see that, you know, if I differentiate tangent x, I'm going to get second square x, right? So I'm, I'm hoping that something will come out of it, right? So if I differentiate du dx, I would get second square x, right? So you can see that du is actually second square x dx, right? So that, that is pretty good. Okay, because I want to see that, right? Second square x dx is actually this term. Okay, so I can do my substitution now. Okay, so integrate of, okay, I'm going to replace second square x dx with du, right? So this would be 1 over u squared du. Okay, so this, this simplifies to just, you know, this 1 over u squared du, right? And it's called the u substitution. Okay, so now we are left to integrate 1 over u squared, which is relatively much easier. All right, so that would be a negative 1 over u plus c. All right, so remember to substitute back. So u is tangent x, right? So earlier we let u be tangent x. So this is negative 1 over tangent x plus c. Okay, so you could also write it as negative cotangent x plus c. Okay, so... That's it for this video. Right. If you find it useful, please remember to subscribe and like the video. Thank you.